Welcome to the Library Serve Refugees Slack training video. Um, by now you should have received your invitation to the Slack channel. If you haven't, please shoot us an email and we'll go ahead and fix that. Um, we're going to be using Slack to communicate because it's easier to separate out from the rest of the crazy emails and you can get to know your fellow volunteers in there, hopefully. Um, it will let us have chats moving through. We can have video calls, which we will be doing some video call meetings. And it should just generally be a good way for us to talk to each other as a team. Um, so I'm going to show you how that how that's going to work. So here we are in the main view and over in the left sidebar you can see all of the different channels. These are places where all of the members of the team can have conversations with each, with each other around specific topics. You'll see we have metadata, researchers, web admin, and editors as options. Now down here you're going to be able to type messages and comments and then post them so that the entire group can see. Uh, they can then respond to them and you can have conversations. This little plus sign lets you add things like documents, files, you can import images if you need to, and things like that. So you type what you need to type and then just hit enter and there you go. Um, you, there are also some add-ons. Uh, we're doing the Giphy add-on which is kind of cool except that I just typed that in wrong so just give me one second. Um, to to do the GIFs, you're going to type a slash, then Giphy, then what you want. Um, and it lets you do that. Uh, you can also do this with documents. There's a lot of different co commands that you can, by typing the slash first, you can put the command in and make it happen. Um, yeah, it's a silly thing. The GIFs anyway, but it can be fun. Um, you can also react. So here I'm going to react to Christian's Moana GIF believe I'm going to use the dark sunglasses. Where did they go? There they are. So I've reacted with dark sunglasses. Again, don't know what that means, but you can react with things like happy faces and thumbs up. Now down here are the direct messages. Um, you can set up group direct messages or you can send one direct message, in this case straight to Rosemary, who I can see has joined. And there we go. Hi Rosemary. Hit enter and there it goes. Um, and that's how you can send messages to people. So if you have a specific person you need to talk to, you don't have to send them an email, you can get them in here. So in this case you can see that we have on the editing team we have the job description and the tasks to check through. Um, same thing for the research team and we have that also for the web admin and metadata teams. That is pretty much it. Don't feel shy about jumping in, starting conversations, answering questions, sharing resources and documents. Uh, this project is only as strong as the people who are working on it. Um, if you need more help learning Slack, I'm going to include the link to the Slack resources in the description below. Thanks, and I'll see you on there.